So my name is Omar Rambasad. I'm just gonna scan there. You can see it. No, you can't see it. But uh, let me just continue. Um, so my name is Omar Rambasad. It is 5:04 p.m. August 30th, 30th, 2019. So I tweeted a bunch of tweets today about um, about uh, trafficking and uh, the conspiracy to um, recruit and um, and uh, label and contain while the person is being trafficked, the target, the flag person. I also tweeted um, a lot of um, readings of this detector. I also promised in my last tweet, or one of uh, the tweets I did recently uh, while I was eating, and I showed the high readings um, of uh, the EF um, detection there um, while I was eating. So here is the reading while I'm not eating. So this is what it looks like when I'm not eating. And this is above the computer because my camera is on the computer. I hooked it on the computer. And so this is the reading directly above the computer. As I take it away from the computer, you can see the electrical field drops. So I'm going to show you just briefly. What it look, looks like. Take my hands away completely. So there's no touch around. So that's the reading with no contact with my body or with the computer. So it's in the middle between the computer and my body. And that's the reading right now. I'm going to put my hand. And you can see it jumps. The electrical field reading jumps. Take my hand away. All the way back down. My hand. And there's a consistency here. If you look at my other videos, this is a consistent finding. Take my hand away. My hand. Take my hand away, my hand. Take my hand away. Okay, so I'm gonna put this up against me, so that's me, with uh, the pin. <laughs> okay, so that's a good way to tell you that uh, that's me, the pin is attached to me. Uh, there's a button there as well. So I just wanted to make sh clear to you that that was me. So that was my way. This is my way of telling you that the detector is attached, is um, touching me. So there is a pin. And there is the reading touching my body when I'm not eating. So while I was eating, it was over 1,500. The electrical field was over 1,500. So right now, my shoulder is being pulsed. And I'm going to try to show you here. It's my shoulder being pulsed. See the electrical field? See the RF reading? goes up and that's the electrical field where I'm feeling pain and my obliques that's my obliques
see the RF reading. And the electrical field is still quite low. But the RF reading is a little bit higher. So that's further up on the obliques, closer to the breast. See the electrical field? And that's right near the breast. And that's on the breast. So that's me. And that's the breast. So you can see that they are varying um, readings in various parts of the body. So different parts of the body is being pulsed at a different rate, different frequency, different timing. But my entire body is being pulsed, and that's the reading as I touch my body and you saw it went over to 700 plus, then right back down. So that's only for like not even a second that reading appeared and then it goes right back down. So it's important to have consistent readings, like continuous readings consistently to catch those pulses that is causing pain. So the ones that are causing pain are the extremely high readings and then it for uh, like milliseconds, and then it goes right back down. So I promised, um, I promised that video while I was eating. So that was the video comparing while I was eating to when I'm not eating. And different parts of my body being pulsed at different frequencies and uh, causing pain, varying amounts of pain, degree of pain in different parts of my body. So just to um, demonstrate to you, my hands are tagged. And this is what you saw when I put my hand on the detector that jumped in the reading to about 200 plus. Then it fell right back down when I removed my hand. Well, this is what you were seeing. My hands are tagged. Um, it's off right now. The other one, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. And the tag is on and off. So that those were the readings you saw. Up and down, up and down, up and down. On and off, on and off, on and off. And this is a tagging on my obliques. And that's what you saw. Uh, further back, it was reading... Um, lower than near the breast and on the breast. So that's the chest being tagged. <clears throat> so I have a crappy feeling on my chest and a slight feeling of asthma. And I just got a pulse on the neck and that's it right there. So also, I want to show you something that happens when a spot is consistently hit. See that red mark right there? That little red growth? It's like a mole, but it's red. Well, right now it's not, but it used to be red. Uh, this is what happens when one spot is hit constantly. See that white spot as well? Same thing. So the same area is hit. So one spot turned black red and started growing. And that could, if it was a different sort of growth, because I had it checked out uh, by a dermatologist. But you know, who believes a target, a target is never told the truth. So anyways, um, I did my own research and it's not a cancerous growth, but it seemed to be um, a growth that's caused by um, by impact, where a spot is on your body is constantly impacted. It's caused by force. And now, 
uh, I was told that it would not turn cancerous and not, a, not to remove it because then it would just grow back. So the moles, that's another growth, it looks like a mole, which is not really. And the white spot is where the radiation causes um, the, um, the uh, cells on the skin that generates the color, the pigment that makes me brown. Um, it kills it. And I forgot the exact names of those cells. Um, I did a bit of research. Can't remember now which ones uh, are called what. But uh, there are cells on the skin that generates, um, that manufactures the pigment. And um, the radiation kills those cells. So then you get white spots on your body. So um, I think um, there is a term for um, um, when the white spots grow and you have huge spots on your body that's white and depigmented. De um, it's called vitiligo. I think I pronounced that right. V I T I L I G O, maybe. <laughs> Let me Google that. Um, uh, v I T I L I G O. Yeah, I got that right. So um, this is what happens when. Um, the pigment of large parts of the um, skin surface on your body um, is um, not producing is not producing um, pigment. Um, sorry, I'm being distracted here, and I'm being paused. My hand is hurting right now. See the power. Yeah, the power went up 43, 21, 35, 65. That's my hand. Take my hand away. And you can see the power went up 693. It wasn't that high when I started this video 10 minutes ago. So the area around me is also affected. So my hand is... Um, Okay, so um, the power is turned up on the hand as I'm talking, and uh, that was a bit of a sharp pain there, which uh, distracts you. So I'll just show you that um, here. This is the reading right now. No contact. No contact. Four sides. No contact. Oh, and it went back down to eight. Put my hand on. Went up to 200 plus. So that's because uh, my hand was hit just now. And when you're hit with these frequencies, the, um, the electrical charge in the body increases. It jumps. And there you see the jump. Oh, electrical. Uh, also, the RF reading is higher. Take my hand away. Right down to eight. Put my other hand on, and this is the hand that just got pulsed, and uh, I felt that jolt of pain. So you can see the reading is higher on the right hand than the left. You could also see the pulsing up and down, up and down, up and down. If uh, that um, if that beam had stayed on my hand continuously, I would be completely um, disabled. I would not be able to use the hand. So it's pulsed. So that was the right hand, left hand. Take my hand away, I'll just give you a starting point, there you go. That's no hand, left hand. No hand, right hand. See the difference between the two hands? And the right hand is the one that just got pulsed. So the electricity, the electricity stays in the body. It stays in the body. And the only way that goes away is if your body is grounded. Now, I have a grounding um, material that I sleep on. So I ground my body. 
but uh, I'm hit continuously. So for me to be um, to get rid of these electrical charges, I'd have to wear grounding material continuously. See that? How high that is? That's no hand. Left hand again. No hand. Right hand. So I think I made my point. So um, I'm just going to close it off there. It's going on 16 minutes. When it's too long, people lose interest and they don't look. And this is information I'd like you to look at. Talk to you another time.